Hey, what's up guys, Scoundies here, and welcome to this informed Christian Taylor review. As you can see, we're going to be running him in this 4-3-3 formation in the right wing spot. And um, yeah, 20k, that's all I paid for him. He's going to be pretty much discarded by the time you guys are watching this. So straight away, you know what I'm going to say, try him out and see how he is for yourself. Anyway, in 6 games, he scored 4 times for me and got himself 2 assists. Probably could have had a few more assists and you'll see them when we get into the clips. But um, overall, 90 pace on his card, looking very nice. 84 dribbling, 79 shooting and 71 passing. I thought he was going to be insane. I really, really did. The only thing that let him down for me... To be honest, was there the shooting? I did expect quite a bit more from the shooting. Anyway, going into the in-game stats: 90 acceleration and sprint speed, which is awesome. 86 agility as well. He's pretty agile, and um, he does feel pretty damn quick in game, as you'd probably expect. 85 dribbling as well. I did like his dribbling, which is good to see. But I need to talk about that 84 ball control because, to be honest, his ball control let him down quite a bit. Um, he did take some heavy touches at times, and his first touch was either decent or absolutely terrible. He would take some absolutely ridiculous first touches. And that is one thing that definitely annoyed me about this guy. He's got 79 finishing as well. I do feel like his uh, finishing was a bit worse in that. He did miss quite a few easy chances, which was a bit annoying. And um, overall, I wasn't too impressed with his finishing. To be honest, his shot power was good. But um, as I say, his finishing overall wasn't too great. Long shots, they're not really something you're going to be scoring with this guy, to be honest. But uh, you are going to enjoy running with him because he does feel pretty quick. And he does get himself into some good positions. His crossing isn't half bad either. It's nothing too special. But um, he just set up quite a few chances with his crossing, which is good to see. I think it's the next one that um, he should have got an extra assist for. But uh, Griezmann somehow manages to hit the post. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, Teo creating a great chance here. And then Griezmann hits the post for them. Teo did really, really well uh, staying inside and getting the ball across the box. As I say, it does feel pretty damn quick and uh, it does break away from a lot of defenders, which is good to see. Actually, scores a really nice goal on his weak foot here. Once again, straight at the keeper. A bit of an odd finish. His finishing is weird. Like the first goal he saw, straight at the keeper once again. The keeper couldn't handle it. And then there's that one where he shoots with his weak foot straight at the keeper. And for some reason, didn't save that either. So, yeah, I don't know. Teo's a, he's a weird player. He really, really is. Anyway, moving on into some of the final clips. It's really, really well to keep the ball in. Nice bit of pass and play with Rodrigo. Makes a great run. As I say, he does make some good runs, which is really good to see. And whips the ball across the box for a Griezmann to head home. As I say, he does make some really good attacking runs. And that is definitely one of the biggest positives about him. Anyway, overall, I'm actually just going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I did feel that his finishing did let him down quite a bit, which was, as I say, was a bit annoying because he said, yeah, I think he's got like 79 finishing, did expect a bit more from that. His first touch can be incredibly annoying. It's so inconsistent. As I say, one minute's decent, the next is absolutely horrendous. The same as his ball control in general, to be honest, which uh, obviously can be quite annoying for a winger. But overall, he's a decent player and definitely worth trying out. As I say, he is around 20k right now, so definitely worth picking up and trying out. And if you do pick him up, let me know how you get on with him in the comments below. Anyway, guys, if you leave a like this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Make sure to check out some of the reviews from last night. Have a very good day. Adios. Hey, what's up guys? Scout with here, and welcome to this Inform Libra review. Now, you're about to see what I paid for this guy. Bear in mind, I bought him as quickly as possible so I could get a free up for you guys. Yeah, I paid 11 million coins. Holy crap, that is pretty expensive. Anyway, in six games, he scored 